Many people would not know it, but Niger is home to the last West African giraffe in the wild. There's none in any zoos around the world. They're right here. Les giraffes vivent avec la population. Le gouvernement du Niger a eu la présence d'esprit d'organiser la conservation de la protection. Et maintenant, elles se sont multipliées, ces girafes-là. All the eggs are in one basket, so to speak. If we set up new populations, satellite populations, just in case there's something going wrong, we can then have these populations that are safe and secure. The ropes are in the right place. We've got the trailer ready. The tow hitch works finally, and we're ready to go. So each giraffe has been caught individually. We identify a giraffe which is suitable age, suitable sex. Dart it. It takes two or three minutes. Uh, the drug kicks in. Sometimes they'll go down quite quickly, sometimes they'll give us a bit of a run. At the right stage, we'll pull ahead of the giraffe and using the ropes, pull it down and, uh, and quickly give the antidote. Now these quite a lot of things we do with the giraffe. Check their age, take some measurements, uh, take some blood samples for disease work, etc, etc. We've got eight animals here, three males and five females. They settle on remarkably well, I mean, particularly these giraffe, because they're so used to people. Donc la, le fait de réintroduire cette espèce dans la réserve, c'est vraiment une fierté nationale, disons, parce que c'est pour la première fois qu'il y a eu la translocation d'une espèce d'une zone à une autre. We've just taken giraffe for approximately 48 hours to Gadabaji Game Reserve. It's the first release ever of West African giraffe in the wild. This is the start of something big for this population. Thanks, guys.